Welcome to my second Pokemon redesign stream and if you haven't seen a previous stream or haven't seen a previous video of my redesigns basically what I'm trying to do is take Pokemon that I talked about in my worst designs of each generation uh, videos that I've did, done over on YouTube and try to find a way to fix whatever problems that I talked about for those Pokemon, come up with a better, more interesting design. Kind of try to bring it up to the, to the current design standards. Older Pokemon have very simple designs compared to newer Pokemon, so that's another, another objective there. It's not necessarily that Meganium is a bad design. I think Meganium is okay. I just find that Meganium is very disappointing compared to Bayleaf. Bayleaf makes the right kind of progression from Chikorita. Chikorita, you've got the little leaf, uh, those seeds on the neck, and you've got the big floppy leaf on its head. It's adorable, and it just, it works really well. But then it evolves into Bayleaf, and it has the right kind of progression. The, the seeds grow into actual uh, leaf buds of some kind, and the big floppy leaf becomes like a sharp kind of leaf sword kind of thing. And then both of those things uh, get ignored for Meganium. Meganium doesn't have any big leaf on its head. Meganium doesn't have any leaf at all, really. The, the leaf buds open, but they turn out to be flowers. So that's a bit weird. And uh, instead of it having, uh, you know, a leaf sword kind of thing on its head, it has antenna. And like the antenna works with the flowers, but Ultimately, it's just it's just kind of disappointing compared to Bayleaf. So that's the main thing that we're trying to fix. And then also you're just going to try to make it a little more interesting overall. I do have uh, some sketches, but I, I basically have a lot of separate ideas that I don't know if they're going to work together. So that's what we're going to try. I'm going to basically draw kind of a, uh, a plain Meganium, and then I'm going to put different things uh, onto it on separate layers so that we can try them independently and see what works or doesn't work. Alright, does, does the proportion here look okay? Okay, I think this looks okay. Uh, let's, do a, let's do a cleaner version here. Okay, I think this is a fine base for us to start on and then we'll uh, start giving it some features. There we go, so I've got one two, three, four. Okay, I've got four different things that I want to try, uh, and one of them I need to try in multiple different iterations, so we'll see what works. Uh, that's one option for how the leaves would work or would look. Um, it looks like the ears of an evolution. All right, is that better? Um, and of course it could also be something central. We'll try that. Now, how do I make it central without making it too much like bay leaf? What if it actually had uh, a more more of a shield looking thing? And obviously, this is very rough. I'll do better. But uh, what do you think of that idea? Okay, this still this still isn't perfect. I definitely need to figure out what kind of uh, I need to. I probably should just get a photo of a of a geranium or a maple leaf or something and put it on there. But I think this is fine as a as a concept sketch. Um, yeah, no, okay, okay. I'm gonna keep all three of these uh, for now. I'm going to group these as, and I'm going to put in. Uh, some of my ideas for the other parts so that we can look at, at it all, um, see how they work together rather than just individually. So even if we don't use this exact uh, leaf shape, I really like the way that the, uh, I really like the more uh, detail, I guess, the, the more, depth that that we get from having uh the the colors on the leaves so and it also like references the original meganium right so even though 
the leaves are going to be green and not uh, the neck leaves, I mean, are going to be green and not pink. It still gives a reference to to this stuff, right? All of the design elements on on the entire Chikorita uh, line, they're always uh, towards the front. So, it, you know, it's the, it's on the neck, it's on the head, that's it. Like all of the everything below the neck just looks very plain, I guess. So I do want to give it uh, some kind of patterning, give it like maybe two different colors uh, on the skin. And, uh, but we'll try that towards the end. So, I wanted to give it something, uh, either, either on the back or on the tail. Something that you'd be able to see when, uh, when you're looking at it from behind. So in this case, it's the tail that is the flower and not the neck frill. Hang on, uh, I will I will finish uh, doing this version of it, and then I'll have a look at what you said there, and uh, see how I can adjust. Hang on, otherwise I might get confused. Okay, yep, so something like that. Uh, I don't I don't really want to put the antenna um, on the head because the antenna actually kind of made sense um, for meganium because the flower... Uh, I actually don't know if geranium flowers have this, but like hibiscus flowers do, right? Where... Uh, there's like the little things poking out from the middle of the flower. So with the flower being on the neck and then the, the antenna coming out the top. So I don't really want to put the antenna on the head if there is no flower for them to be coming out of. So if, uh, but it could like, well, I'll probably put the antenna wherever there is a flower. Yeah, no, hibiscus leaves are not interesting. I think I did look this up before. So I, I want, I'm going to keep it as geraniums. Okay, obviously this is going to look more refined in the end, but that's... I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I think I might need to change the, uh, the angle of the flower, actually. But uh, in terms of figuring out the design, this is good enough for now. Okay, so I like the tail, but... Other options that I, or other ideas that I had for how to incorporate the flowers. Um, one of them is to do a, a color pattern here that it might just be pink and just, just be the usual kind of, uh, kind of color where it's, there's just, just gives it some, some difference there and isn't necessarily, like, doesn't necessarily represent anything. So it could just be kind of like that. And of course it would go on the tail as well, which I seem to have forgotten to do. But to incorporate the flower thing, I thought of doing something kind of like uh, Muna or Musharna, where it would actually have a flower pattern on, on its skin. Now, again, I, I don't necessarily think that this works, but it's an option. Plain pattern is one option. Uh, flower pattern on its back is an option. This would be without the tail though. This would be with the original tail, just to be clear. I think I only need to incorporate the flower in one way. I don't think I need to do it in more than one way. 
And then, but then the other way that I thought of including the flowers is to actually give it sort of a ridge on its back. That would be flowers. But again, I think that I only need to incorporate the flowers in one way. The chat is leaning towards tail flower, so that's what we're going to go with. What we need to decide now is what to do with the head. The options that we... the I came up with the, the eyebrow options. Uh, and you also have this leaf blade option, which go, would go very well with the idea of the uh, rose gum leaves. And then there's also the idea of a shield, which I would make... Uh, better match the uh the shape of the of the leaves that are on the neck yeah maybe not the shield maybe it is more of a eyebrow whoops maybe it is more of eyebrow or leaf blade i think that's the general consensus the only thing i need to do then is uh give it mechanium's Mechanium's uh, toes. Okay, uh, quick poll here. We definitely are uh, not considering the flower bud anymore, correct? This tail is also too long and the flower is too big. This is the smaller flower, which apparently I left at 50% opacity, right? So we prefer the smaller flower. Tail towards the front. Short tail pointing up. Or tail, long tail pointing towards the back. You're happy with this one? I can change the angle of it a little bit. I think I'm gonna make the this, this middle uh, pattern here. I think I'm gonna make it kind of sharp. Uh, so a little bit like, so, so like a zigzag? Uh, I think that makes it one a little bit more like a Pokemon pattern. Pokemon likes sharpness in a lot of things. And it also makes it look more like uh, Meganium's original uh, pattern in the middle of Leaf where it was like sharp things. Now it's time to make my color layers. I think, I think I got them all. <laughs> I think that's gonna have to be darker. Yellow or green? I kind of like the yellow because it makes it less green everywhere. Um, another option would be to make that to make the, the skin actually. Whoops, not that one. Uh, to make the undersides actually white. That's not bad either. I think that this is the the color that I'm gonna go with. All right, so. Time for some shading. I am going to have trouble com like compressing all of this into a, a less than 20 minute video. <laughs> I'm very happy with how this is going. I'm actually kind of positively surprised, really. We almost praised the algorithm and sacrificed to it with Bloodsport at sundown in order to allow the video to reach trending. Yes, please do that. Nope. Oh. 
I went too far. It was better this way. There you go. Uh, I should submit this to Game Freak as a replacement to the original. I I can try tweeting it at uh, at uh, Masuda-san or or James Turner or something, but I know that they don't respond to fan art. I've noticed this very much. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they, they respond to fan art. They don't respond to redesigns. They definitely respond to fan art, like, in general. I'm really happy with this. I want to make sure that you guys are happy with it as well. I'm going to keep, like, doing little touch-ups. Just a little bit, because, of course, as, as anyone as any artist knows, the longer you look at something, the like you're gonna keep finding things to fix. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and this Meganium redesign, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you in another redesign stream in the future. Next time we will be doing Unknown. There won't be a poll for this time because I have a, I think a really good idea for the unknown that I really want to do. So that's the next one that's going to come up in this series. So that's it. I'm Marion Libris. I'll see you in the next chapter.